एक संवाद एट अरुणिम अंकुरन यत भावो तत भवती वी आर इन कॉन्वर्सेशन विद निकिता जोसेफ एंड कोच चेतक खेडिकर दे हैव बीन टू फ्रांस रिसेंटली शटलर निकिता जोसेफ has been coached by chetak khedikar sir for many years and we'll talk to them about their journey together a word about arunima ankuran this is an initiative for positive social change through self development the goal is greater well being and happiness for all at arunima ankuran we believe that each person is unique and special in some way and we celebrate that difference so welcome to both of you welcome to ek sambad and thank you so much for joining us Uh, sir we'll go with you first uh, please introduce yourself namaste i'm chetak kedikar basically badminton world federation certified coach in maharashtra i also cleared coaches education program of sports authority of india in badminton and sports science now recently i appointed by school game federation of india as a badminton team coach for 19th International School Federation World School Gymnasia 2022 to be held in at just recently at Normandy, France. So, in which around 70 countries and 3,500 participants are there, and 20 multiple sports games, which is very important. Uh, I, th- I think it's a, like a youth Olympic games. <laughs> so, this is just my basic introduction. Thank you. to arunima anukaran dr pragya mathur kumar for inviting us thank you for being here sir nikita uh, please talk to us about your milestones um hi i am nikita joseph and i'm a badminton player i'm playing badminton since i was 6 years old and uh, chetak sir only and uh, i'm continuing it here only right now um just now i've been to france for the 19th isf world school gymnasia badminton championship and uh, it was a really really great experience for me and uh, i've been like recently in under 17 category my double rank was fourth all over the india and uh, in under 13 category i was second in singles and first in doubles So yeah that's just my basic introduction. So it's such a pleasure and delight to have both of you here. We have seen you on court so many times but I'm sure everyone who's listening in will really enjoy this conversation getting to know the other side of the sports persons the coach as well as the athlete. So we have some pictures here I would like you to take turns and speak about uh, these pictures. Uh, so we can start off with the first one I think this one uh, you could talk to us about this. <laughs> yeah it's a uh... Uh, i think it's our first day of the fans uh, we go for the practice session mm-hmm. their warm up courts are behind this wall that wall and this is the actual match court so oh. we go there and uh, practice after some time and we enjoy the practice session two, we have two days practice session on uh, 14 and 15 there mm-hmm. after uh, the practice over there we can uh, i said nikita can we take quick selfie <laughs> and <laughs> get, uh, uh, really yeah uh, I think it's a amazing selfie. It's the first selfie of I and Nikita. I think so. <laughs> so many. Thank you. So, so really, we enjoy there the practice session and, uh, and then afterward the matches. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, Nikita, talk to us about this picture, the second one. This was the last qualification round. I cleared this round and then I got into into the quarterfinals. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it it was a great match. Um, the main thing was uh, she was the second rank player over there mm-hmm. and i had this nervousness before the match like she is the second seed and stuff but uh, eventually when the match started it all came down the pressure went down so yeah i really played uh, enjoyed playing against her i think she is from uganda uganda player no? right yeah Okay, so how was the experience of playing with someone from another country? And uh, you know, you don't meet them; otherwise, you just meet them on court and probably don't even meet them later. How does it feel to uh, you know deal with these kind of new opponents whom you don't know the game actually? So, talk to us about the experience. First of all, it's a pleasure to represent the country. That is the dream for every every athlete out there who's working day and night for for that dream. That's the Indian flag 
and uh, so yeah i was just happy playing against her and then i just played my full game i was listening to whatever my coach was telling and yeah it was pretty great to play against her so it's a good addition to your memory bank yeah <laughs> okay and uh, what about this picture this the last one sir we see the indian yeah. flag how does that feel to yeah. be holding the flag yes 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 it's a amazing amazing feeling out and i can't say any words for this this <laughs> basically uh, this is after the final match when mm-hmm. prerna of india karnataka girl that won the match and uh, after the prize distribution ceremony we enjoy this uh, with the flag ceremony and all so jab ye ye jo photo tha ye amazing aisa lag raha tha ki sabko ek sath flag hold karke ek different way se isko celebrate karna chahiye because uh, jab uh, jab hum log wahan pe even wahan pe hum log jab bahar uh, jaate the walk karte the to t-shirts pe flag wagre dekh ke other people sa say oh you are from india hmm. so, so amazing feeling wo flag dekh ke identify karte the ki you are from india <laughs> It's an amazing <laughs> feeling for us. Right? So l- let us start from the beginning. About uh, we asked Nikita, how did you take up badminton, and uh, what are some of the things about the sport uh, which you really love? Um, actually, I was uh, I guess four years old only, and everyone in my neighborhood who used to play badminton, mm-hmm. and they never let me play because I was too small at that time. and then i used to get i be that you're not letting me play and everything mm-hmm. so my mom decided ki okay if you want to play you join and then there was no intention ki i'll take up badminton as my career but uh, as i started playing i went for tournaments and all i enjoyed it really enjoyed it i was competitive since childhood only so yeah mm-hmm. and chetak sir you have seen nurtured not only nikita many many other players so talk to us about how challenging is it for in, for a coach in this country to nurture because bahut sare we all understand the pressures that come parents coaches and player both that triad has to work together to nikita ke context mein bhi and other players also what are the challenges a coach faces nowadays are very competitive uh, uh, badminton going on so it's a very difficult very very difficult for the coaches even for the players how to handle the pressure of the parents <laughs> even on the players mm-hmm. so basically parents it's a good thing for the game but it's simultaneously parents are involving it's a good thing for the game earlier jab hum log khelte the to parents just you go and play and enjoy the game and come back to home and that's it no mm-hmm. competitions don't play the competition no other thing now mm-hmm. parents are coming to join for the future of uh, for the mm-hmm. uh, future of the game or future of the uh, her son or girl so mm-hmm. it's a very good thing but simultaneously parents are expecting the like a fast food within a two or three months they want to own their child uh, like tum jadu ki chadi jaise ekdam फट से दो तीन महीने में चैंपियन हो जाना चाहिए चैंपियन होना चाहिए सो इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल आई मस्ट हेल्प ऑल द पेरेंट्स इट्स अ लॉन्ग टर्म जर्नी इट्स अ ट्रायंगुलर प्रोसेस पेरेंट प्लेयर एंड कोच आई ऑलवेज सेड इट्स अ ट्रायंगुलर पेरेंट्स फॉर दिस एज ग्रुप फॉर 6 टू 16 ए पर्टिकुलरली दे हैव टू ब्रिंग देयर चाइल्ड रेगुलरली ऑन द ग्राउंड देन देन कोचेस इंटरेस्ट प्लेयर इंटरेस्ट ये सब डेवलप होगा एंड देन साइमल्टेनियसली डे बाय डे रेगुलर प्रैक्टिस एंड परफेक्ट प्रैक्टिस से डे बाय डे गेम इंप्रूव हो गए एंड इट्स अ हाई लेवल प्लेयर्स डेवलप हो गए इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी कि एक एक टूर्नामेंट हार हार गया तो इसका मतलब वो बच्चा अच्छा नहीं खेलता इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट बेसिकली पेरेंट्स अगर कि हार गया ओके स्विच चेंज हो सो ऐसे नहीं है यू हैव टू इंप्रूव योर क्वालिटी ऑफ गेम राइट डिफरेंट स्ट्रोक्स एंड फुटवर्क एंड मूवमेंट्स क्वालिटी ऑफ गेम्स पे फोकस करना है नाउ दे आर ओनली फोकसिंग ऑन i must said ki apart from winning and losing basically there are n number of benefits of the game each game n number of benefits they are their fitness level increase their psychological fitness level also increase right which is not seen by us ki hum log to winning and losing hi dekhte lekin jo indirect advantages of a uh, uh, particular good citizen de- discipline develop hota hai 
बींग होता है ये सब चीजें दिखती नहीं है पेरेंट्स की नहीं आ रहा है जस्ट खेल रहा है और जा रहा है नहीं बट वो टाइम टू टाइम मैनेज कर रहा है अपने किट पैक कर रहा है अपने बाकी फ्रेंड के साथ शेयर कर रहा है सारी चीजें स्ट्रेचिंग के साथ एक इंटरेक्शन हो रहा है सबका एक दूसरे के साथ फिलिंग शेयर कर रहे हैं तो वो जो सब चीजें है वो विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन रेगुलर लाइफ ऑल्सो बट नाउ डेज होपफुली इन फ्यूचर पेरेंट्स ये अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे कि विनिंग एंड लूजिंग के अलावा भी काफी सारी चीजें है कि वो गेम उनको देता है सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट विनिंग एंड लूजिंग सो आपका बच्चा अच्छा खेला बहुत अच्छा हारा लेकिन अच्छा खेला जस्ट कल एक पेरेंट मेरे पास आए सर मेरा बच्चा खासदार टूर्नामेंट में खेला बहुत अच्छा उसके अगेंस्ट बहुत हुटिंग हो रही थी वो हार गया लेकिन सबने आके बाद में उसको अप्रिशिएट बिकॉज ही प्लेड वेल दैट्स द ग्रेट थिंग ना दैट्स द विनर ओनली विनर नहीं रहे चैंपियन बनना है राइट सो विनर होके कुछ नहीं होगा आपको एक कोर्ट पे आपको डिसिप्लिन शो करना है बॉडी लैंग्वेज अच्छा शो करना है ताकि आप हारने के बाद भी लोग आए आपको अप्रिशिएट करे वो फीलिंग वो पेरेंट को आया तो वो पेरेंट आके मुझे कल बोले दैट्स अ ग्रेट सिंग है ना Early result also uh, dangerous to the players of that. Long term, play like that. Wait, harne se bhi sikhna hai like that. So uh, Nikita, this is a coach's perspective. What about the players' perspective? What are some of the things that people of your age group are doing? And there must be so many temptations for you. So tell us how is the life of a sports person? What does it take to reach the level that you are at? Uh, there's only one word for that, and that is sacrifice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just got to leave every single thing everything you enjoy everything you like just because of that dream because you have to achieve something in life so it's just like uh, if you want sports you have to leave everything else mm-hmm. if you want that dream if you want that medal you have to leave everything else you have to go after that dream and yeah that's the only thing so where does this come from you know this dream kahan se aata hai How did Nikita get sick? <laughs> I mean, uh, since day one, more than me, my mom has worked hard for me. Yes. Like she's the only person there out there. Like I can't thank her enough. Like it would never be enough. Um, I think she's one of those reasons I keep going, which keeps me motivated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. it's my dream but uh, obviously when i get nervous but then i remember what she has done for me and what is she still doing for me so yeah i just want to pay her back i know anything could not ever do that but still i want to do that i want to pay everything back to her wow so sir like you rightly said ki sports mein hum log ko ye samajhna chahiye ki sports is not just about winning and losing there are so many other things that uh, you know a sports person develops so because you also been a sports person uh, all your life to aapko kya lagta hai ki in what are some of the things in which your it makes an impact on your life now uh, first thing uh, when i was in 12th class to that at that time all the parents we we are uh, i'm saying in an msv colony koradi at that time so us samay aisa tha trend tha engineering ka Huh. like all the engineers my even my friends engineers and doctors on right it was us sab ka ek ek rishta colony mein mc bhi khulne ki engineer banna hai sab ke parents even my father was engineer <laughs> he is an executive engineer in mc bhi so wo craze tha ki engineering engineering karna but i am passionate about the game badminton i play i think i am start the my badminton uh, playing uh, of the class of uh, cl- in the class of 7th so <laughs> That time seven to uh, I think tenth class. That many, बहुत अच्छे से badminton खेला. Then eleventh के first time I was selected for state level tournament. Eleventh and then twelfth. After that, धीरे-धीरे interest आते गया. Then the first time uh, the M S C B Colony में summer camp था वहाँ पे जो वहाँ पे secretary थी उन्होंने organize किया था और नागपुर से coach आने वाला था. बट उस समय वो कोच का कुछ पर्सनली प्रॉब्लम की वजह से वो नहीं आ पाए सो द सेक्रेटरी आस्क मी टू यू कैन टेक दिस कैम्प आई थॉट आई एम जस्ट प्लेइंग द गेम एंड आई एम जस्ट पास ट्वेल्थ एंड ही सेड कि यू कैन ट्राई आई एम विथ यू यू कैन ट्राई ओके जस्ट वन मंथ कैम्प हम लोगों ने लिया देन द पेरेंट्स आर वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड सर यू कैन कंटिन्यू 
धीरे धीरे इंटरेस्ट आते गया इट्स जस्ट आई एक वन मंथ कैंप लेने के हिसाब से स्टार्ट किया था सो फर्स्ट मे नाइनटीन नाइनटी नाइन सो फ्रॉम दैट डे टू टिल नाउ आई थिंक ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स ओवर सो इंटरेस्ट डेवलप होते गया प्लेयर्स होते गए आई थिंक टू थाउजेंड नाइनटी नाइन टू थाउजेंड फोर में फर्स्ट नेशनल नेशनल लेवल प्लेयर मेरे पास से पास हुआ है प्रणाली सबका फ्रॉम एम एस बी कॉलेज she played with so we go at uh, surat for national school nationals mm-hmm. so i said different players uh, different uh, years may develop hote ke interest bante gaya then i uh, done my graduation bcom then i done my uh, bpa and uh, mpa in the physical education master in physical education then i done my different courses like bwf and cp so there are many uh, Uh, different uh, workshops and uh, coaches training i attended mm-hmm. so like that the players uh, because of the results of the players my interest is increased day by day day by day because i want to some day i have to make a player like a national international game. then uh, in 2000 uh, in the rohan played very well in under 13 he was at that time india number 3 mm-hmm. and i want to be india number 1 player I have to build, make a India number one player who is uh, represent for the country like Rohan and all. Then now this year, I'm really glad that Nikita was selected for a uh, Indian team in the uh, school world school championship. And my name is also uh, uh, taken granted by the SJFI for the world school championship. So I'm very happy for that. The interest yes, because of the result, yeah. Yes. So, basically, interest because of the performance of the players, support of the players, and parents, so like that. This so is my journey. But at the same time, I must say, uh, uh, like Nikita uh, said, too, so many sacrifices the in the last twenty-two years. Uh, just a lot of family functions, marriages, and celebrations. I have to miss that. My, even I, if I go for that after nine o'clock or ten o'clock at the night, my relatives saying me, "Aage a late night," <laughs> like that because the practice sessions are there. Na? So so many different different. Uh, even I miss my become one paper at that time for the national level tournament. <laughs> I miss that paper for my that pranali sub uh, uh, player. So mm-hmm. I think go. Let it be. Then next time they think. <laughs> so as a different type of uh, sacrifices in our life, we did. Yes. So uh, Nikita, uh, this experience for you must be in so many ways a learning. And what are some of the takeaways? What are the things that you came back and? Kya lagta hai tumko ki? What should we do as a country so that more and more children can? you know excel at that level what are some of the changes you want to see as a player um the first thing is uh, as the said that uh, parents expect a lot i mean they like if one turn if you lose a tournament or two tournaments like you are not a good player you should sit at home hmm. so that's not really a thing you should have patience like at least it takes two years you should at least wait for that child to perform at least i'm saying mm-hmm. and um, yeah the, the financial support the main thing is i mean there are so many like so many talented players and players who work really hard but they can't go anywhere longer because of the financial thing so i guess government should do something for that mm-hmm. it's a really big issue for the players and especially in badminton because it's a really costly sport really very costly sport so yeah something should happen about that and i'm really thankful to federal bank that uh, they have sponsored me in this and they are helping me around in every single thing hmm. so yeah i'm really grateful for federal bank for that and one other thing is when you were playing with children from other countries uh, what are some of the things that you felt were different as compared to what we are doing here and what they are doing any anything that you noticed is different sir do you have something to say yeah <laughs> basically nikita we watched that uh, practice session of chinese tai pai <laughs> huh. we are here uh, actually our culture or our parents are not allowed to give uh, punishment like that 
दे आर प्रैक्टिसिंग इच अदर एंड जो हार गया इन डबल्स वो दूसरे को पनिशमेंट देता था वहां पे और जोर से शटल गया दे आर प्लेइंग इच अदर विथ इच अदर एंड आफ्टर लूजिंग जो भी हार गया उसको विनर पनिशमेंट देगा स्ट्रिक्टली मैंने एक दूसरे को देते थे वो डेली डेली आई वॉच दैट की चाइनीज टाइप पे एक दूसरे को डेली पनिशमेंट दे रहे वट एवर द पनिशमेंट सजेस्टेड बाय द विनर दैट so oh. they are very uh, they are very strict about the that uh, part hmm. but uh, nowadays it depends on the punishment but they are doing that okay and that's so interesting I, I, mean... I, i yeah yeah hmm. so i they are doing daily i watch their sessions daily so after they play doubles and they jo har gaya usko punishment नेट के पास खड़े रहो और दूसरे वाले दो शटल्स हिट करके उनको दूर से बैक लॉबी से हिट करके मार दिया इफ दे मिस देन ओके अदरवाइज लग गया तो तो चैलेंज चैलेंज फॉर सो आई थिंक कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन बोथ ऑफ यू फॉर गोइंग टू नॉर्मंडी एंड फॉर वेयरिंग द इंडियन फ्लैग आई थिंक दैट इज सच अटर ऑफ प्राइड नॉट ओनली फॉर यू बट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस लव बैडमिंटन and uh, we wish both of you a beautiful journey ahead and much more success in the years to come thank you for joining in and sharing uh, all the best nikita we are sure that all your hard work and the patience of your coach and your parents is the I... biggest treasure by itself <laughs> right so thanks yeah. thanks from arunima kuran for joining in and all the very best